Daisy Mascot and welcome to the second episode of Super Drug TV. We are so excited that you are back with us. Now today is a very, very busy show. We're going to be catching up with everyone's favourite TV doctor. Dr Zoe is back. Obviously it's flu season right about now. We're all going through it. She's going to be telling you the difference between real flu and man flu, which is very, very important. And also, I am so excited about our guest today. The one that only Danny Dyer is going to be here, as in the one from Love Island. We're going to be catching up. All things beauty with her. She's also so just about to be a brand new mum as well, which is so exciting, getting all the gossip. And of course, we're going to be chatting some health and beauty and relationships along the way as well. Now, I am so excited to introduce my next guest on this episode, the one that only Danny Dyer is here <laughs> chatting to us. Babe, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? It is so nice to see you. First of all, let's just talk about how stunning you look. You oh, look absolutely no. beautiful. This just took a couple of hours. I don't no. look like this in Let the world. You, you look lovely as well. How are you doing? I'm all right. A bit weird, isn't it? The moment. I can't even cuddle you. I know, it's so sad, isn't it? How has this year been for you? Because you're mm. pregnant yeah. and you're about to be a mum. What has it been like being pregnant in 2020? Because it's been a weird year mm. for everyone. What has your year been like this year? You know what? It, it's been a crazy year, I think, for yeah. everyone, hasn't it? But I've not had anything to compare pregnancy to. I feel like when women have been pregnant before the whole COVID stuff, mm -hmm. now it must be a ma massive struggle to yeah. be going through this like time and also being pregnant. But... It's been all right for me. I just feel like I've been nesting. I just yeah. want to change every room, though. I've gone a little bit mad. Of course. Um, my rooms are just bare at the moment. I want to get new wardrobes that I've never needed. Yeah. So I've gone completely nuts. Yeah. But I've been all right. <laughs> when is your due date? How long have you got to go now? So end of January, so okay. not long. Nice. A couple of months. Nice. So a New Year's baby. I'm, I'm excited to give birth. Are you? Yeah. See, this is the thing that most people are scared of. No. Why are you excited? <laughs> what are you excited about, Daddy? It's an experience okay. and I'm getting something from it. I know well, I'm going to be in pain. I know I'm going to be a nightmare, but at least I know there's something from it. Yeah. You know? Who's going to be in the room? Is Dad going to be in the room? Can I just he's, say? He's I he's need Dad up. in the room for this. And he said this, he's been really worried about be giving birth. Oh, he's like really like scared. I'm like, I'm fine. He's yeah. like, oh, we're all going to be in pain. He'll be outside, hopefully. Yeah. He don't really know all the rules and stuff, but I really want my mum and Tammy there. Yeah. I need my mum. You need your mum. Because she's been through it. Your mum's amazing as yeah, well. Yeah, and my mum loves all that. Like, my mum is really like, she loves, as soon as you go around her house, if you're a woman, she's like, do you need to be waxed? Very odd woman. Loves anything yeah. Yeah. That to do with any body part. So yeah, she's going to be loving it. The best person there. What is the best advice that she's given you or anyone else around you that has, has been given you? I think it's to not prepare yourself too much. I feel yeah. like you learn on the job. Yeah. Because I feel like it is scary. You think, am I going to be a good mum? Am I going to do the right things? Am I going to make mistakes? But I feel like you learn from your mistakes. Yeah. And it's also, as long as they're fed, you change their nappy, you give them loads of love then I think that would be perfect. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I need. Now, Danny, you've ruled out the possibility of your baby being called Danny. Is this true? Do you have a book of names? Have you decided on one yet? We haven't actually decided on a name yet. I think when the baby's in our arms, then we'll decide. Of course. We ruled Danny out because I couldn't do that, could I? <laughs> I think it would be three generations, yeah, three generations of Danny's. Yeah. But everyone was like, she's going to call it Danny. Yeah. I was like, am I that predictable? Yeah. Like, Did no. your dad try and put his two pens in <laughs> to convince you? You know what? No, he... Because everyone thought it was like this planned thing, but it's quite known for us. I don't know if yeah. it's like that people call their kid's name yeah, after the dad. Usually it's the boy, though, not the girl. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah, but I think it'll be fine. Throw the rule book out. Throw the rule book out. Um, Danny, I want to talk a little bit about social media. Because yeah. you're incredible on social media. Oh, You've got a massive you. following as well. Mm. Do you ever feel as though your following means that there's a certain pressure placed upon you because you're reaching so many people with your content? How does it feel just before you press post on a post of yours? You know what? I've always tried to not overthink Instagram. Yeah. I feel like I'm not a blogger. I know it sounds really weird, but... I try and do all these like fancy pictures and you know yeah. get the Costa Cup and you know what I mean, pose with it yeah. and stuff. But I feel like it is hard because you do overthink. And sometimes when I was on like Love Island and I was on the show, I, I was just myself on there. But then when I come out, I felt like I had to filter myself mm -hmm. a little bit. And you do become like that. Yeah. And you know, I film a story and I think, oh, maybe I shouldn't post that. And then I delete it. I do a lot of that. And yeah. I feel like even now I need to let go yeah. and just chill because people just want to see you, not you know, this edited version of yourself. Yeah. And it's you're, hard. You're obviously about to become a mum and yeah. I feel like from our generation, mm. we never had Instagram no, growing up. We nothing. never had Snapchat or social media. No. I think we were probably the last generation mm. that went through secondary school, Leaving most school. of it, without it. Yeah. But obviously, your kids' life is going to be very different. How are you mm. going to introduce social media if you're going to do so at all? <sighs> It's hard, ain't it? Because I feel like I if, you, if you can't deprive your kids from social media because everyone's got it. 
So I just feel like it's putting a boundary on it a little mm. bit because I feel like it's so sad now. Like with my little brother, he's seven. Yeah. And they're on their iPads, they're on phones, laptops. They don't sit in a toy room anymore. It's, like, so it's just like an it? empty toy room with like no personality in People there. used to knock on doors, yeah. come and play out on There's our bikes. There's none of that, There's none no, of that anymore. It's so sad. I, I, don't, I, I do hope though by the time you know, my child's older, it might have died down a yeah. little bit, but I don't know. This is sitting in between us, which I'm yeah. really excited to chat to you about. This is a collection with Vaseline, which is so exciting. I feel like this is every person's dream. I remember Vaseline being my first little beauty product that mm -hmm. I take in my blazer pocket to school. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about this collaboration. You know what, it's so true. Like when I was younger, I mean, I've had some terrible makeup. Have a wheel. Times Have a good wheel. De it's definitely terrible. But so this here is the Sweet Cherry Lip Balm, nice. which I really like as well, because it's just like an everyday use. And yep. I just feel like my lips anyway do get dry. So it's nice. Keeps them hydrated and nice. also it tastes nice as well. Oh, we love that. I know. And these are my two like, Gloss shots, glossy cool. shots. I wanted to call them babe shots. Yeah. But they didn't fit the cut. They, they didn't want that one. I don't know why, but right, I thought that would have been quite a nice name. That is a nice maybe name. Maybe for the future, yeah, I'll fine. try to live it in again. But yeah, this is more if you just, maybe you just want to finish a little bit of a makeup look, add the lip gloss to it. I like this. This is something different. I haven't really seen this thing from Vaseline no, before. No. So then you've got a little lip gloss situation going on, a little bit of colour as well. Yeah. And in winter, everyone's lips are getting dry. Oh, so, so dry. this is the perfect thing right now to be adding to your makeup bags. Love that so much. No. And the packaging's so cute. Did you have anything to do with packaging? Oh, all of it. Cool. It was so good. When Vaseline came to me, I was like, oh mm. my God, because I've always been into beauty products like creams, lip balms, since yeah. I was like 15. I've yeah. always gone down that route. And I remember sitting in a room with them and they did a really nice lunch as well that day. Remember it. That. Always about all the about lunch. That. And yeah, we just come, you know what, there was a massive board and we had to go back and forth a little bit, mm. you know, because we had to make it you know, suit everyone. Of course. And yeah, I really wanted it to be really girly, cute and fun. Amazing. I want to get my hands on one of yeah, these. Yeah, you can I have love one. That. Take one so much. Thank you. Disinfect it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Of course, Christmas is pretty much around the corner. Oh, no. Now, I want to know what goes down in the diet household at Christmas. You I feel know? like it's wild. Tell me some stories. You know what? To be fair, it, it's so chilled. I is feel it? like everyone's so busy yeah. like, in the year. Like Everyone's got their own jobs, but it's nice because we all sit around the table, like yeah. my dad, me nan. But the thing is, the conversations that go on around that table, if there was a camera, oh my God, you need like, it. it's you just, need. but it's nice because it's just chilled and, and we just want to have a laugh together and I feel like family is so important. Danny, it's been so nice catching up with you. It's been so nice seeing you in the flesh today and chatting, although we can't hug, know. you know, next year, fingers crossed. You're, you've got such an incredible 2021. We're so excited for you. All of the amazing things that are coming your way. Congratulations on your new baby. Oh, baby. Danny Dyer, everyone. <laughs>to some products that I've been loving this week that you need to be adding into your baskets, all right? So I'm gonna take you over here. Now, first up, I have the B Blush in Berry. Now, I'm doing a little bit of a demonstration here. I am actually wearing this at the minute. I am gonna be honest with you, I don't love a blush. It's not something that I usually have in my day-to-day -day makeup routine, but this one I absolutely love. It blends out so, so nicely. It feels like it doesn't really get stuck to the makeup that you've got underneath your face, um, like the foundations, the concealers. It just blends out really nicely, and I like to blend it over my nose as well. It looks really nice when you've got a really neutral eye on and also a really bright lip as well. So loving this one so much. This is the B Blush in Berry and I'm currently wearing it at the minute. So definitely be adding that to your baskets when you're shopping on Superdrug. Next up, we have a little fragrance for you, which is very exciting. I'm obsessed with the packaging on this one. Here it is. I'll give you a little spray. Not that you can smell it yourself, but loving this one so much. Look at the packaging. So cute. And I spray this all over, especially in the hair. Don't forget the hair. And this one is Gosh and Tabitha Webb. This is their new fragrance. And what I love about this one so much, not only the packaging, not only that it smells great, but also £2.50 from every single purchase at Superdrug. Goes to Great Ormond Street, which is incredible as always. So last but not least, I think this is my favourite product of the week, actually. I am obsessed with this. This is the Tanologist Body Beam and Brush. 
I love this so much because not many of us have obviously had the pleasure of going away this summer and getting yourself a little tan on over your holidays. This one is an instant glow to the skin. I've actually got it on today. So I've got my shoulders out for you lot. It's given an instant glow. It looks great on camera as well if you're taking pictures. And you can also pick yourself up a brush that is sold separately. This gives, I would definitely recommend getting this separately. It gives a really, really even application, almost like airbrush finish as well. So great for taking your pictures and posting them on Instagram. As I said, add this to your basket for sure. This is a Tanologist body beam and brush sold separately. And these were my favorite products this week. Now, I think it's safe to say that this year, a lot of us have been a lot more health conscious, but with cold and flu season upon us, it is very hard to tell the difference between certain symptoms. Dr. Zoe Williams is here to explain. We are now well into flu season, which is always a concern for some people. And I think this year, it's a bit of a concern for everybody. So what is flu? Flu is it's the influenza virus, and it tends to cause a fever, a headache, body aches and pains, and it really does make you feel terrible. Often people say they have a flu. If you have the flu, you are not getting up, you are not going to work, they actually say if a 50 pound note was rolling past on the floor in the wind, you wouldn't bend over and pick it up. The flu makes you feel dreadful. But for most people who are young and healthy, you will get over it. You'll feel ill for a week and then you'll be able to get up and go back to work. But there are some people who are much more susceptible to complications from the flu. That is children, pregnant women, people who are aged 65 and over, and those who have existing long-term conditions. And for that reason, all of those groups are entitled to a free flu vaccination on the NHS. And what about everybody else? Well, there is always the option of paying privately for your flu vaccination. And Superdrug offers a flu vaccination service, so you can find out more online. Because of a lot of the coronavirus restrictions that are in place, it may be that we're less likely to be exposed to the common cold this year, or in fact, the flu virus. But if we do get symptoms, how can we tell whether we've just got a cold, whether we've got the flu, or whether we may actually have coronavirus? The first thing to say is that a lot of the time, it can be very, very difficult. But here's a little bit of advice that might help you differentiate between the three. So the common cold tends to really just affect the nose and the throat. It tends to come on quite slowly, often with that tickle in the throat, but it can also cause a cough, which then starts to get a little bit tricky. The flu virus tends to come on really quickly. So from the moment you start to feel unwell, within 24 hours, you can expect to have a high fever, headache, muscle aches and pains. You may have a dry cough. Some people get diarrhea you're just not gonna be able to get out of bed. You're gonna feel pretty dreadful. When it comes to the coronavirus, we know that it affects different people differently. And some people have no symptoms at all. And some people unfortunately end up extremely unwell. The commonest symptoms remain fever, the dry continuous cough, and loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. So in people who do have symptoms of a respiratory virus, it can be really tricky to know whether it's coronavirus or not because a lot of the symptoms do overlap and the only way to really know is to get a test. Fever, the dry continuous cough and loss or change to your sense of smell or taste. You must stay at home and order a test. So many of us will come down with a cold or hopefully not but maybe even the flu this winter. The best thing to do is stay at home, rest, Take some paracetamol, you can take ibuprofen, which is safe to take even if you think it could be coronavirus. Lots of fluid, take care of yourself and let your immune system do its thing. However, if you feel that you're not coping with your symptoms and you're concerned about your health, especially if you're somebody who's in a high risk group, pick up the phone, speak to your GP or dial 111. We'd rather hear from you sooner than later. So there are really two viruses that we're concerned about this winter, influenza and coronavirus. And with influenza, there is a vaccine to protect yourself. So I would urge anyone to consider getting vaccinated. 
Many of the superdrug nurse-led clinics offer coronavirus antibody tests. Now, the antibody test is the test to see if your body has developed antibodies to coronavirus, which if you have a positive result means you've been exposed to the virus previously. It's important to say that even if you do have a positive result, it doesn't mean that you can relax the social distancing measures and it doesn't mean for certain that you can't get it again. But for some people, it does provide that peace of mind and some people just want to know. I am now joined by Tabitha Worley, who is a commercial finance analyst for Superdrug. That takes up a CV. And she also has a pretty impressive side hustle, being an influencer on Instagram as well. Tabitha, how are you doing, babe? Hi, dear Z. I'm so excited <laughs> to be chatting to you. Please tell us what your job entails, because I've never heard someone with this job title before. <laughs> Okay, so a finance analyst is basically a bridge uh, between the commercial function and the finance function. So I communicate information to buyers so that they can do their job better. What do you love the most about your job and working at Superdrug? Uh, the best bit of my job is working with the buyers mm -hmm. and being that go-between uh, with finance and with uh, non-financial roles okay. so i'm the communicator between the two of them it's a lot of like jargon that i've got to make very clear so that they can uh, react quickly to the previous week sales uh, change anything they need to change or uh, plan things in advance um, in the best way that they can like plan for success so i'm nice. kind of that middle person nice that and tabitha what advice would you give people watching at home that kind of want to get into the same industry that you're in right now i think have guts to put yourself out there like don't be afraid of a job spec I think people use a quite fancy language on job For specs sure. where you think like oh I don't have that skill yeah. or I don't have that qualification or I don't have um anything they're asking for because half of them when I read them I don't understand them anyway and um, definitely apply and put yourself out there but don't be afraid if you don't think you tick every single box because mm. you actually do have a lot to bring to yeah. a role um, and even if you don't think you fit the typical stereotype of the type of person that would work in that role like I never thought I'd be in finance and I, I don't think I'd fit a stereotypical person you would expect to see in finance um that for me was a huge hurdle to overcome because yeah. I had absolute imposter syndrome yeah. when I went into these offices or I went to meetings with people from really academic backgrounds and had all the jargon. But actually my strength is uh, being able to communicate really well and yeah. being really personable and having the guts and the work ethic to get on with it and learn in the role. Now Tabitha, aside from the day job at Superdrug, you're also an influencer on Instagram as well, which is wild. How do you manage the both of these together? It's it is a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, I just have to be really strict with my time. I'm quite an organised person and I can love a planner and I love a list and I just very much like compartmentalise everything. There's different lists for things that need to be done. We love a list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when it all gets very busy um, on Take Heart, it is like lunch times at work. Yeah. Um, I like hour to go uh, answer some comments and DMs or reply to some emails or uh, it, it can start to seep in. Yeah. Um, but also like my weekends generally, of course. Of course. Uh, although this year I definitely want to get a better work-life balance with right. it because it's, it is like two jobs. Yeah, so you true. just don't want to be working seven days a week. It is true. Um, but Superdrug are great for supporting it, yeah. to be honest. And I wouldn't have expected uh, the level of support that I've got for it, yeah. really. Yeah. Um, so I, c I couldn't be happier, really. It works. That's so nice. That's yeah. so nice. You're doing it all at the minute <laughs> and you're making it work, which I love. You've also brought along some really exciting products that I want you to talk to me I about. Have. I'm seeing one on here already that I use day to day. That's charcoal toothpaste. That is the charcoal, charcoal toothpaste. toothpaste. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> um, so I work with the oral care team, to be fair. So okay. they made sure I had uh, lots of this when Fine. I first started. Because it is one of our hero products. Yeah. Um, it really just whiten your teeth. It's great, like, isn't it? They put charcoal in everything now. Yeah, well, it's, I think it's like a magic ingredient, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not... Uh, scientist, yeah. <laughs> but I think, it is. It I think it's meant to be the magic whitening ingredient. And I've used it for so long now that when I do switch to something else, if I've run out and I haven't managed to get my hands on this for whatever reason, yeah. I definitely like notice, you notice the a difference. difference. Yeah. Within like a couple of weeks as well yeah. of just starting to use it, you definitely notice a difference with how white your teeth are. Amazing. Love that that is one of your favourites. What else have you got for us? <laughs> um, I also have the Be by Superdrug Lengthening Mascara. Mm -hmm. 
this is one of those like nuggets on the beauty floor that you might not have heard of that is an actual like staple that you okay, need. Okay, fine. Um, a really affordable mascara mm -hmm. uh, and lengthens and it lasts all day and you don't get the rub off. That's you good. know, like that. That's really good up here and it ruins your eyeshadow and there's really nothing you can do about it then. Right, most That's lengthening good. ones might make your eyelashes long but then you've got black marks all yep. on your eyelids. So uh, yeah, I absolutely love this. Uh, use it day to day. Nice. Um, really easy. And what is this last one that you brought along for? The last one is Vitamin E um, Hydrating Mist. Cool. Uh, the whole Vitamin E range, to be honest, is amazing. They do a micellar water, they do um, a hot cloth cleanser that I love. Like, mm. it's a really great range. Um, for like active skincare, like mm -hmm. you actually feel it working. Yeah. And again, it's really affordable, so it's yep. great. Um, I mean, just give myself a little spritz, yeah, shall I? Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Oh, go on. Oh, I can smell it as well. Oh, it smells, it smells good. It smells really good. Oh, Tabitha, I've really enjoyed our chat today. Thank you so much for joining us on Superdrug TV. And that wraps up today's episode of Superdrug TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And join us next time for loads more gossip, interviews, and advice from our beauty insiders.